So this is going to be a video where I discuss the current state of Combat Vanguard and I'm not necessarily like, you know, overall judging the reboot or anything like that or the card game either. It's more going to be kind of a speculation as to where the reboot's currently at in terms of percentage and what's going to happen afterwards because I think this reboot is actually really close to being done. Uh, a couple weeks ago or so, it was less than a couple weeks ago, but whatever. I said that this reboot must be over the halfway point by now, but now that I've gone back and actually read the manga, which I've now done, now that I've read the manga, I'm actually starting to think this reboot is actually very close to being done. So basically, we'll do a second separate video about the manga specifically, where I just talk about my thoughts of the manga. But basically, this anime is a very close adaptation. Other than the NWO arc and a few other things here and there that have been like added and tweaked, it is more or less an exact adaptation. Like it is the exact same story, the exact same events, uh, and so on and so forth. Which I think actually works better in the manga than it does here, but again, we'll get into that later. So the first story arc, you know, the uh, AW AL4 even, uh, arc is more or less exact. It's more or less a one chapter to one episode sort of conversion rate. And by the time we get to the second arc, the deleted arc, we've more or less gone one chapter, one episode. Uh, if you take out the NWO arc, which is completely filler, then it's quite a bit shorter than that. It's uh, closer to two thirds or whatever. So it takes the manga longer to go through plot than it does card fights because the manga go, uh, breezes through card fights quite quickly, I'd say. Not necessarily that, actually. It's more the anime has been uh, breezing past the card fights. And so the more dialogue and plot heavy scenes take a lot of screen time both in the manga and the reboot, whereas card fights get breezed upon to the point where this most recent card fight, the uh, Ren versus Asuka one, that one was like five chapters in the manga, whereas here in this anime, it was one single anime episode. And basically, that's the that's the series from this point on. Because the delete is arc, now that we've gotten to the whole Psychoalia zombie part, that's kind of just what the rest of the manga is for the most part. There's some extra stuff here and there that we'll talk about when we get to them. But for the most part, it is basically just these card fights against the Psychoalia zombies. And if it took one of them one episode to adapt a five chapter long fight, then need I mention that this manga is 75 chapters long and we're already 41 chapters through. And so if we keep going at this rate of four or so chapters per one episode, then you're starting to see the point I'm getting to here. So because of that, I think that this adaptation would have caught up with the manga because the manga is currently on hiatus. I don't think it, it ever officially ended. Instead, it just kind of stopped after the deleted arc. So it, it, it's at the kind of point where it could eventually end up coming back. It did end in 2017, back when G Next was airing. So the manga could always come back, but even if it were to come back, the reboot couldn't keep going without adding filler or stretching it out like One Piece does. So basically now, well, what will happen then? Because this, again, we're very close to catching up now. I think we're anywhere between 12 episodes and 25, depending on how much they uh, stretch it out. Because uh, the next episode... Uh, Kai versus Kamui, that's not gonna, that's gonna be a scene that gets completely skipped across because like I said, I've read the manga and that, that, that fight is not getting any screen time in the anime. And if I'm correct, even the Koji Buki and Suiko one gets fairly skipped past too. Like that one does not show the entire card fight either. So we're, we're getting our way through this. And, and like I said, yes, the rest of the manga really is just a psychology of zombies. There is an interesting thing they do. With the, uh, with the Psychoalia zombies close to the end. The whole thing that Ibuki is doing with the deleters is, is leading up to a very specific point. And like I said, I'm talking very vague about it right now because I don't want to spoil anyone. But it does change things from Link Joker, so that's cool. We're, we're reaching that point where it's gonna... We're gonna have to move on to something. So first of all, I want to address the 
d- everyone always says this the franchise is dead after the reboot it's gonna end and i'm not saying this about like vanguard specifically but people always say this about every franchise you know whenever i start like speculating as to what's gonna happen next with a franchise everyone immediately is like oh but what if it's done though what if it's what if this is the end it isn't the end you only just reboot the card game you do not reboot a card game just to get rid of it immediately Um, If the problem is that the reboot is bombing, which I don't think it's bombing, I think it's doing pretty well in terms of sales and stuff, then they probably, then that's still going to buy us another year or two anyway, because they will have probably started working on the next Vanguard anime by now anyway, assuming the next Vanguard anime will start the second the reboot ends. So... Now let's do a little bit of speculation as to what is actually going to happen next. So basically, the most obvious one, the one that everyone keeps mentioning is, well, what about the G reboot? And I'm going to go straight up and say that ain't happening. Now, of course, Bushiroad have been unpredictable in the past. In fact, at first I didn't predict the Vanguard reboot at all. So I could be wrong when I say the G reboot ain't happening, but it ain't happening because my main piece of evidence for this is that Busher Road themselves don't like G. Because, I mean, they rebooted the card game after G just so they could retcon a lot of the card mechanics and stuff from G. So, yes. But not only that, GZ got cut massively short. Now, this is something I'll go into depth a bit more when I get into a look at Card Vanguard G Part 2, which I have been working on a little bit, so, you know. GZ gets cut short massively, like very much that's an arc that i think was supposed to be around 50 episodes like the other arcs were but it gets cut short to around like 25 to 30 episodes i think and it definitely shows because there's a lot of things to get breezed across or cut out entirely and things that were like built upon uh and and, 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 like built up and things that we were led to expect to happen in gz just don't happen and not for a way that's supposed to seem like subversive or interesting but instead in a way that they were cutting to save time. Why were they saving time? So they could get to the reboot faster. Because remember, the manga only ended in 2017, a few months before the reboot was announced and started, which means they were probably fairly excited to do a fillerless reboot. Now, fillerless is an interesting term because of the NWO arc, but you get what I mean. And that leads us to our other option, uh, one of our many other options, and that's that they keep going with the reboot, you know, they keep having uh, Aichi as the main character, and they keep going after the deleter arc ends, and just go with a brand new arc. Now, whether that brand new arc will be uh, an anime arc like Legion Mate, which Legion Mate's gonna need a lot of changing to make sense in this new continuity, because... Yeah, with the way the manga ends, Legion Mate can't really happen in its current state. Or they could just come up with a brand new arc entirely. Now, if they do a brand new arc, I'll be very interested because I think one of the main things that has held the reboot back is its faithfulness to the manga. I think a lot of the problems that this reboot has had are problems that the manga had as well. The manga gets away with those problems a lot easier because it's the manga, which again, I'll get into in more detail in a later video. But it would be interesting to see them go their own route with these characters. Uh, What they would do with them after the Deleter's arc, I'm not quite sure. Because, again, the end to the Deleter's arc is fairly resolute. It does tie things up for the most part. So I'm not sure why they would want to continue after that point. Other than, you know, nostalgia bait. But as we've seen, Bushy wrote a fine with just relying on nostalgia bait, I guess. Um, I don't think they're going to do that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, The other option is Shooting Star. Now, what is Shooting Star? Shooting Star is a spin-off manga of Carvite Vanguard that has the female protagonist, Asuka Matsumoto. Strange, they gave her a very similar name to Asuka. Asuka and Asuka, whatever. Those are actually different names, I promise. One spelt with an A and the other one spelt with a U. They're just pronounced the same. Um, so basically, yes, that's a manga that happened uh, and is still running and is fairly early on. And so if they ever do do that, I don't think it will be a straight up adaptation like with the reboot. Instead, it'll be more of a loose kind of, oh, we're taking the general kind of premise and characters and we're going to like flesh them out into 200 or so episodes, similar to the original in G, which I would like to see. I read the first chapter of Shooting Stars and I thought it was pretty good. 
Um, so I wouldn't mind seeing that. That would be neat. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, I remember when the reboot got announced, that's what everyone expected it to be. Like, when the reboot got announced, the Carlyle Vanguard page was like, hey, we're going to announce a new anime, and everyone thought it was going to be Shooting Stars, and it was the reboot instead. Uh, and the, the Shooting Stars can still happen. Now, the question is, the Shooting Stars happen in the reboot universe, or do we go back to the universe the original and G was set in? I think we're gonna I think we're gonna stay in the reboot universe mainly because of the imaginary gifts and the lack of strides. So I think it would make more sense continuity wise with the card game to stay in the reboot universe for now. But it I would be super happy if we returned to the, the original universe as well though. But I guess at the end of the day, that question as to which of the two timelines it takes place in doesn't really matter too much, I guess. And then there's the other option. And that's do a new thing entirely. You know, we could just do a completely new thing. So yeah, those are basically our options. And I feel like we're going to hear at least something about one of these by May. Now, don't take me at my word here. If we don't actually get any information by May, then don't kill me or anything. But May is the one year anniversary of when the reboot started airing. I predict this reboot will be around 60 or so episodes long now. Uh, maybe 50 at a stretch, depending on how fast they blast through everything. Which means that May will be around about the time that the reboot is starting to kind of wrap up or at least catch up to the manga. So by that point, we'll have had some kind of big announcement as to either a brand new story arc in the reboot uh, or a brand new anime like Shooting Stars or the G reboot or whatever. So I think it's not going to be too long until we actually hear as to what's going to happen next. Now, of course, I imagine... People are probably going to be thinking, well, you were very vague on the whole, they could do some a completely different thing, you know, like, I kind of want to know what they would do with that, and that's, that's going to be its own video. I'm going to go a bit more into detail as to what I want slash think is going to happen if they do decide to go the whole, we're not going to adapt any kind of manga or anything like that route and just do something completely original. But that's that's for another day that's that that'll come at some point but for now that's what i think is the current state of vanguard uh, i think it's definitely sticking around for at least another year or two i don't think it's getting cancelled quite yet so don't worry about that uh i think we're gonna learn some more information around may it could happen a little later than that, but I think by that point we'll have probably seen what it is that they're going to show. And it, as for the options, you've got the G reboot, which ain't going to happen, the Shooting Star adaptation, which might happen, or something brand new completely, which is probably going to be what's happening. Or we could continue with the reboot and add more story arcs on top of it, because I guess that'll fix the reboot if we do that. But that would be very janky, because it would be super obvious as to what is reboot, or what is adaptation, what isn't. So, yes, that is... I'm I'm very I'm very interested to see what Bushiro do next with Vanguard, and after we've gone through this reboot and everything, I feel like we need something really cool looking to kind of perk ourselves back up again because yeah